Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Have you ever had a four letter word thrown your way or been called inconsiderate and had somebody judge you just because of a modification on your camper? <laughs> I have. Stick around and find out why. Hey, welcome to Travels Abound. I am Bobby. My family and I are a family of four and we are setting out on the road for full time over the next three to four years to look for our new forever home. A place that we may fall in love with and settle down. But in this episode, we're gonna share why I had a four letter word thrown at me and was called a lot of insults. Okay, so first let's go over the modification that I made. Outside lighting is a big issue and a touchy point for some people as I found out. The factory installed front cap lights, the factory installed porch lights and awning lights all bleed over into others campsites. It's kind of a known courtesy to turn your lights off before you go to bed. It just keeps it from going in other people's windows. So April takes the dog out a lot at night, throughout the night, and the kids also like to kind of walk around our campsite, you know, when it gets dark. Right now it's getting dark at like 5.15, so we needed an alternative, and I want to be polite to others with that alternative. So what I found were rope lights, outdoor um, LED peel and stick rope lights that I put underneath our camper, and I'll show you that shortly but it just has a glow that goes straight down into our campsite and it does not bleed into anyone else's and the best part is it's on both sides so if we have an issue with with the wastewater on one side or you know need to hook up or unhook the water hose because it's going to be freezing that night you know and we unhook the hot water hose before we go to bed because we don't have our heated water hose with us then it lights up that area over there as well so you're, you're pretty much lit all the way around your entire camper the best part is too though you can change colors <laughs> so without further ado let's take a look at the product and the item that i put on our camper and we'll go from there okay so here are the lights that i installed uh, this is obviously with the slide out uh, so you can see it a little better and i don't have to climb underneath our rig to to uh to show you you know you can see that it's it doesn't glow anywhere towards anyone else's campsite it's going straight down all right coming to the other side you can see where the wires come out i just poked the wires through where our existing propane lines come down or, or go up and made the connections there to our lights and again i just used the pill and stick i have no problems we have about 8,000 miles of travel on the road with these just stuck to the paint so far and have like i said no problems what i did do was clean the top of that paint uh, to, uh, the beam with a wet rag and a dry rag just to make sure it was super nice and, and clean before I did the peel and stick but that that black piece that's hanging down or the, the piece that's hanging down right there that is for the remote control so I stuck that down as well it does come with a remote but it's also uh, can be controlled with an app on your phone I have an Android phone so and it works flawlessly but you can see I ran it and then ran it up I know it's a little sloppy but super easy to install you can see I also ran it uh, where the floor joist supports come off of the I-beam as well I did that just to make sure that if you know we ever lost the adhesion on the peeling stick that it wouldn't fall you know straight down on the ground so it would still be up there and I'll show you where I plug them in at in our pass-through storage this is the 120 volt transformer plug that I plugged into and then this wire goes up and over and down the back here on the other side and then I peel and stuck the little control module that's there that comes with the package and the kit and then fed those lines down by the propane. Okay so as I mentioned and probably as you can see it is a very easy install very well worth I think I paid like $70 for them I got them on Amazon I will leave the link to the product in the description below in case you yourself are curious and would like to have some as well. So on to the bad. I posted some pictures of our LED lights on a modifications owners group. Um, I won't name the name, but you can probably figure out which modifications group it was, uh, just by judging that we have a Grand Design Solitude. So anyways, I posted the pictures just as a brief little, kind of like I'm doing on this video, hey, this product is great, these are amazing lights, I get no money off of these, they're just that good, I want others to, to know about them. And the comments that I got was called a city slicker. I was told that I was inconsiderate. I was told I was annoying. Someone implied that I may be scared of critters. I even had a four letter word thrown my way. Yeah. And the comments got so bad, the moderator of the Facebook group actually shut off the comments. My post is still up, but the comments, yeah, and you can't post anymore. So I felt obligated to share this video and information to let everyone know that my lights are not 
the monster of the campground and the campground police can go back to their darkness and have a great day. Let's be positive. We don't own this property that we all camp on. We, in essence, rent an area that we can stay for a certain amount of time until someone else comes in and rents this same area. So we all do have to be respectful of everyone else. And with our underglow lights, I'm doing my best part as opposed to turning on my porch light every time that we bring the dog out. I don't want to do that because my neighbors may be enjoying a great campfire and looking at the stars. But again, you're not going to get that at a campground. You'll get that on your property in the middle of nowhere. You can do what you want to do, but we are all here and all enjoying our own thing. So as long as we're respectful and keep to ourselves as much as possible, then I see no problem with any of it. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. If my lights are too bright, ridiculous. Uh, one person even said I belonged at a campground that he knows of that everybody loves UFOs. Anyways, let me know what you think about this. Okay, so here's some night shots, and I just want to show you uh, some of the examples across from us. There's a one, what's called a bucket light, where someone has taken a five gallon bucket and placed a light bulb inside of it, and you can see how bright that is. And then down here, you have an awning light. It is really flooding over 40, 50 feet away from their campsite. Then turning back here to our rig, you can see that our lights are not that bright, and they don't bleed over. Now, they are a little bit brighter than what the camera is showing, but they do not bleed over any further than about five feet past the dark that you see. The cool thing, too, is with our lights from inside, you can control whatever color you want. You can even pick a custom color like pink. Katie loves pink. Very, very good addition and really helps at night. So that's it. I appreciate you letting me know what you think about this video in the comments. Uh, thanks again for coming and watching our video, It Travels Abound. And until next time, we'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, please. Bye.